back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to talk about transit gateway. So as the name suggests, transit. So you can imagine that it's transitive in nature. And conceptually, it's very simple. I mean, you can consider it as some network hub, which you can use to interconnect your networks. So multiple networks can interconnect via transit gateway. So we'll see how, how we're going to do that. So in theory, I think this is what we have in transit gateway. So let me go a little deep into the theory and tell you about some concepts which are basically required for the network specialty exam to know. So let's go to that and let's complete the theory and then we'll get into the AWS console and create one transit gateway and see how we can configure uh, interconnection between our networks. So when we talk about transit gateway concept, the most important concept is of attachments. So what kind of attachment does a transit gateway allows you to use? So uh, if you go to AWS uh, documentation, you'll see that you can have VPCs, VPN connections, uh, direct connect gateways. Peering connections. So these kind of uh, attachment this uh, transit gateway supports, right? The next is the transit gateway route table. So since it's a virtual router, basically, so it 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 has its own route table, right? Where and with transit gateway, you I mean, there's a default route table that comes when you create a transit gateway and you can create your custom route tables if you want special routes. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to we're not going to create a custom route table. We'll be using the default route table, which comes with the, the transit gateway. So when I say transit, you should probably know that if so, what benefit does it has? So the one benefit over a VPC peering, suppose, if you talk about peering, so you have VPC A and VPC B. So if you create peering connection between them, so you can, you have a connection between them, right? But what if you have a third VPC, say VPC C, and now you want to connect VPC A with VPC C and VPC C with VPC B. So what you're going to do is now you're going to create a peering connection between A and C and C and B. So you can see that it's not transitive. But when you use uh, transit gateway, let's get rid of this. And so suppose this is transit gateway. And so now you have VPC C here, VPC A and VPC B. So these are all the attachments which are there with this TGW. And I'll show you how you can create attachments. So now what happens is that your traffic can go from A to B, A to C, B to C, C to B, and anyway, transitively. So this is why transit gateway is preferred over uh, VPC peering. And another plus point is that you can not only use peering connection, but you can even have VPN connection, which is on your on-prem. So if you remember in our last video, we did a site to site VPN. So, and if you remember, there were two options, virtual private gateway and transit gateway. So that's what uh, transit gateway can do. You can have VPN connection over transit gateway as well. So I think this is it for the theory guys. Let's just go into our AWS console, create a transit gateway and show what are associations, what are attachments and how we can to transitive pairing using AWS Transit Gateway. So now we are in our AWS console and you can see that we have two VPCs if you remember from our last video. So one is acting as our AWS environment and the other one is acting as our <coughs> on-prem. So, and if I go to my EC2 console, so I have three instances running so a couple of them are running in my AWS environment. So one is acting as a bastion host running in public subnet. So you can see this one is running in public subnet. And then we have another instance running in private subnet. 
and then we have one instance which is running in our on-prem environment which is running in private subnet so it does not have any connectivity to the internet or outside world so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set up a transit gateway between these two vpcs and then i'll try to connect from this instance which is in my private subnet in aws environment to my instance which is running in private subnet on my on-prem environment just like we did uh, when we were doing a site-to-site -side vpn right so let's just go to vpc and on the left hand side you go down below you can see transit gateway so let's just click and let's create now let's give it a name say aws to on-prem and i'll copy this only for the description as well for amazon side asn so there's a basically a range of asn which you can select for amazon side asn uh, it starts with 64512 and it goes to i think you can see it's here so it starts at 64512 and it go to 65534 so any asn between this range you can select so i'll leave it at default i'll leave all the setting at def as default and if you want to do a cross connect across the different accounts you can see you can even do that so but now for this video we're not going to do that now let's just go and create transit gateway let's close it so you can see it's pending so it will take around five minutes to be available so we'll not be able to use it unless it's in available state so i'm going to pause this video and come back when this is available so you can see our transit gateway is now available so the next thing what we are going to do is we are going to create attachments so what we talked in our theory section now what we're going to see it so we go to transit gateway attachments so these are some attachment from my previous uh, basically i was trying something so we'll create transit gateway attachment and i'll name this as uh, AWS I'll name this as just AWS that's it so this is going to be a VPC type of attachment so in case if you are using you're going to create an attachment from your VPN connection so if you remember from site to site VPN we created a VPN connection so you can select VPN over here and your connection would come here in the drop, drop down but since this is going to be VPC so I'll leave it at VPC I'll give it a name, say AWS again, and I'm going to select my AWS environment VPC, and I'm going to select my private subnet. So this is going to be in my private subnet. So let's just create it. And I think I have an error. Okay, so invalid transit gateway ID. Okay. Let me see why this is giving invalid ID. Let's try and create again. Okay, so this time it has created. So let's go back and see this is in pending state. So while this is in pending state, let's create another attachment for our other VPC. So let's attach our other VPC as well. Let's name it on-prem and let's select on-prem environment and private subnet let's create so these are getting created so while they are getting created i'll leave them i'll basically pause the video and come back when they are available so both our attachments are now available you can see the state has changed to available and now if i go to transit gateway route table and go to associations you can see these associations are populated automatically so you don't have to do it manually the transit gateway automatically populates these associations for you so this is all the configuration we need to do at our uh, transit gateway end now what we're going to do is we're going to go to route tables and let's select our aws environment vpc go to the private route table and edit the routes 
so let's get rid of this and let's select transit gateway and you can see it should list so now it's active okay so we'll do the same thing for our on-prem go to private subnet edit the routes get rid of this so these are basically route from my previous exercise which I was trying to okay why well, this is not listing mm-hmm mm, this is strange so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to transit gateway Was I in right? I need to check if I was doing it in the right route table. Looks like it should be in here only. But I'm not seeing my transit gateway. So this is strange. Ah, finally. So it took some time. So maybe you give it some soak time and it will show up if not immediately. So now we have both the route sets in both the VPCs. So what we are going to do next is I'm going to my EC2 console, go to instance, and go to my public instance in my AWS VPC. So this is public subnet, you can see, and I'll copy this. And you must also have correct security group rules even if I mean if you configure all the transit gateway and stuff all the routing if you've configured but there are <coughs> there are rules in your security group which are blocking your connection so probably you need to allow specific rules so I have already done that so in my private uh, instances so all the inbound and outbound rules are set even in my on-prem instance so you can see I have allowed all or just to be on the safer side but if you will not do that in production okay so let's go to our uh, terminal so I'm in my terminal and I'm going to just paste it over here the connection string and I'll do the key forwarding so don't forget to do key forwarding otherwise you won't be able to access your instance in private subnet so let's just SSH into this machine so I'm in my now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the IP of my private instance and I'll SSH and I'll do key forwarding here as well because I'll show you how you can SSH from this instance to the instance which is running in a different VPC. So I am in my private instance. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ping this instance and see if I'm able to reach it. let's ping it so you can see ping is going that's good now what I'm going to do is I'm going to SSH into this instance and you can see I have successfully SSH into my instance and we don't have any pairing connection or any kind of other routing we are going through the transit gateway itself and it will be like like it's it's basically a router doing that for you so I think this is it for this video guys. I hope you understand the concept of transit gateway, how it works. And for exam purpose, I think I would request you to go through the document a little bit to know a more, I mean, theoretically you should know a little more, but from the practical point of view, this is what transit gateway is. So I hope uh, you liked the video and if you liked it, please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.